The amount of stuff you can do with two marimbas as opposed to one is extraordinary. What? Oh. Controlled slowdown. Absolutely ridiculous. Whoever edited this video got a little bit too excited. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> These runs are insane. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so effortless. So effortless. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Like, you know, sometimes it's just those performances that stick in your head for a long, long time. That's definitely one of them. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam, and it's time for yet another Let's Watch. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Will Flynn, Marimba Maurice, Brian Carlisle, Song Jun Han, Scott Rader, Greg Harris, Dean P. Newberger, and Bradley Crowley. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Pieta. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan, or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. Hope you've been well, hope you've been staying safe. And today we're going to be watching some duos. It's been a while since we watched duo repertoire on this channel, but if you're new to my channel, my name is Adam and I make videos about percussion every single week on this this channel and if you want to be part of the fun hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads. So duo repertoire to me is very interesting. I really think it's one of the best forms of ensemble since you get the maximum amount of communication when you're face to face with just one other person. The amount of stuff you can do with two marimbas as opposed to one is extraordinary. So today we have two duo performances which are very good. I'm really excited to get into them and they were submitted by you guys at adamtampercussion.com forward slash submit. That's where you can submit videos for this segment. So the first submission is from Aubriana M. Shields and she says Fantasy Impromptu by Chopin. <laughs> hey, two mallet marimba flex. So Chopin Fantasy Impromptu is one of the most popular piano works of all time. It sounds epic, it sounds like this. And back when I was still learning piano, I tried to learn it at one point and it was really hard. So kind of gave up. I have played other Chopin music. I really like the way Chopin music is written because he was one of the first people to have that polyrhythm feel, uh, very similar to Debussy. Obviously Debussy is after Chopin. I know my history. Actually, funny story, I have actually played Fantasy Impromptu on Marimba before with my friend Jordan in 2016. We did it as a Marimba duo. We actually tried playing it on the same Marimba at first and that was very awkward. It was kind of like and then we decided to put it on two separate Marimbas and it was pretty fun, although I found it very hard to play the line quickly I was player one playing the and it's just super super difficult so I cannot wait to see this let's watch okay so here it is we have fantasy impromptu Chopin performed by Tyler Kanama and Tyler Tollis and you can see here we have a marimba and a vibraphone this is a very attraction style setup here with the vibes on the right I think I'm gonna guess I think he's gonna use the vibraphone to play the second part of Fantasy and probably the slow compound time section. We got a Yamaha and an Adams Classic, I think. Master of vibraphone? Yeah, that looks like a Master of vibraphone. So yeah, very nice instruments. Uh, looks like they're playing both with Marimba 1 mallets. Okay, anyway, enough about hardware. Let's just get started. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I'm ready, give it to me. Oh, very smooth mallet pickup, turning around to the audience. Uh, turning away from the audience, sorry. All right, here we go. Ooh, good mallet choice. Sounds really good. Oh. Controlled slowdowns, very good. Some wrong notes, but the contours are really nice. The phrasing is nice. Oh. Pre-planned slowdowns. It does sound a little bit weird that they have it exactly the same way for each phrase, but okay. Yeah, I think I think those slowdowns at the end of each phrase is a little bit excessive. You know, it's still pretty cool that they can do it without having to count it out, like they just know how much to slow down by. But yeah, maybe vary it up a bit next time. Anyway, doesn't matter, let's keep watching. I 
I love the tone of it, but yeah, the accuracy is a bit weird. But it's not easy. I've played this and it's hard. Nice. And now he switches over to the accompaniment. It's an interesting way of doing it. Oh, with the mallet dampens as well. I think the vibes guy could play it a little bit louder, but that's okay. Or just like a brighter tone maybe. Still sounds really nice though. That's not the right chord, <laughs> but close enough. Good save. The Vibes guy's doing a good job of keeping that heavy beat feel, which I like very much. It's very like pesante. Oh, 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 we got a, got a bit of a flam there. Here, yeah, nice. And then? Yeah. Oh. That pre plan slowdown worked pretty well, actually. Uh, that one's a bit excessive. Two in a row is a little bit excessive. Now there's a little bit more force. I like that. Great. Uh, interesting accompaniment chords. Bam, boom. Yes. Mm, I think that one's a little bit too much slowing down still. And this one's really, really too much. Yeah, it would have been nice if you just flowed into these octaves, but okay. I love this piece. Yeah, it works there. Left hand's wrong though. And we're back. This part has done really well. Yeah, that slowdown sounds very natural. Oh, a little bit of improvisation there. I love this bit. Yeah, they need to keep it moving, otherwise it doesn't feel like Fantasy Impromptu. Usually Fantasy Impromptu is very like flowing and moving, but they keep stopping. So, yeah, it's, it's too predictable. But... Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Lower bass of the marimba is beautiful. Here it comes. The pacing of this last phrase is really weird. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 stop, hold on. Go back a bit, that's a very unusual way of ending it. 
I think they started slowing down way too early. And that should be a chord. I think breaking it up like that is very unusual. Kind of like, you know, when you play like Bach, uh, if you play like Lute Suite, or if you play any of those pieces where you have to play chords, you don't usually break it up like that because it just sounds super unnatural and you miss, you know, like the natural order of the voicing is completely thrown out the window. When you do 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 do, it sounds like a four note passage. So I'm not too sure about that. Let's hear it one time. It would have been nice if they... And the roll at the bottom is weird. Mm. Still a really good performance. Still a really good performance. Like the two mallet flexing was definitely there. <laughs> okay, honestly the performance itself was still pretty good overall. There's just a few things that I think maybe could have made it a little bit more authentic to the original but also just more flowing in general like fantasy impromptu should feel extremely flowy and extremely like smooth and there were just i think too many pauses too much of a good thing is not a good thing and they had just way too many slowdowns i could totally predict where every single one was going to happen which is not a good thing it, it loses its special feeling when you're like oh the slowdown's coming and it's coming again and it's coming again <laughs> so that really stood out to me but bear in mind this video is seven years old i'm sure these guys are fantastic players now um, this is definitely looks like an earlier performance in their university career and the vibraphone is a nice touch although i personally prefer having it both on marimba just so the voices kind of match because you're not playing marimba and vibraphone in the main section so to suddenly switch the vibraphone suddenly sounds like there's a third person who's entered the room and to be honest these guys were the first people to put fantasy impromptu on mallet percussion so i'm really proud of them for doing that thank you for coming up with this idea tyler and tyler if you're watching this you guys are awesome and I love this piece so much and I think you guys did a great job interpreting it your way. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of that performance. I'd love to hear from you and if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Okay, speaking of transcriptions for keyboard instruments, let's move to our next submission which is from Kevin Hartman Thompson and he is submitting Passacaglia by Handel arranged by Halverson for two marimbas arranged by Twin Cushion Duo. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. So Kevin, Kevin is not only a subscriber of this channel, but he is also a repeat submitter. He has submitted a whole bunch of awesome clips to this channel, including one that we did that was of Anders Khan Elton playing Paganini 24 on marimba. It was just an epic performance. And he's back again with another submission. He's got a duo called Twin Cushion Duo. These guys are twins. They've studied at the World Danish Academy of Music as well as Anders, same place. And their playing is absolutely incredible. One of the best percussion duos in the world, in my opinion. Well, funny story, Kevin. I've actually run into Twin Cushion a couple of times. Most recently was PASIC 2018. And we actually met them again at the airport at the same time. And we had a good chat. See whose Cantonese is better. <laughs> <laughs> They're awesome people. I really, really like the stuff that they do. But yes, shout out to Twin Cushion if you're watching, and I'm really excited to get into this. Let's watch. Okay, so here's the video Twin Cushion playing Pascaglia. And man, these guys are so good. Honestly, it makes me so proud to see these guys just because they are pretty young still by percussionist standards and they're doing amazing performances that a lot of people would regard as at the very top. Here we can see that the two of them always, yeah, they always wear these black outfits. I think it's really cool. It kind of reminds me of Jabberwockies, uh, like Jabberwockies all wear masks. Jen Yu and Jen Ting look similar and they have black shirts. It makes everybody focus on the performance instead, which I think is just so cool. You can see that they're playing with Yamaha marimbas because I think they're sponsored by Yamaha. And yeah, I just, I'm just so excited. Let's just get into it. Ready? Here we go. Man, look at those powerful octaves. And their gestures, you see, like they're not try hard in any way. Whoa. Listen to that tone. This is a live performance, by the way. Man, it's so powerful, but not harsh. Here's the counter melody. Oh, it's so delicate. Even though it's articulate, it's not harsh. And their phrasing is so similar. Oh, it sounds like one person playing.
This is a very difficult arrangement. Whoa! Whoa, what's with the camera shake? <laughs> Did you guys see that? I think whoever edited this video got a little bit too excited. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And whoa! <laughs> Honestly, I would probably react the same way if I saw this run. It's just an insane, clean arpeggiation. It's just so, so beautiful. Okay, let's watch it seriously this time. Man, his octaves are so nice. Triple lateral. I mean, this is a live performance. I can hear some mistakes, but like, it's so clear. Hold on, hold up. Let's check that run. This is an epic run coming up here. Ready? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Four mallet scales, guys. Four mallet scales. Wow! Oh! So beautiful, and they're not, see, not harsh. Oh! Okay. It's just. Wow! <laughs> Man, they're four ballot scales. Like, that's a lot of practice to do scales that way. To do them with two mallets, that's hard, but at least you know it's going to be left, right, left, right, left, right. When you have them in permutations, that makes it that much harder. So I'm really impressed. And they keep the tone so clean, even, even with all of that. Yeah, I can hear a little bit of wrong notes here and there, but this is handle, man. This is not supposed to be easy stuff. And they're doing an absolutely amazing job. I'm not digging the random scenic shots of the ceiling. I'm not sure why that's there, but that's not their fault. I'm sure they just have someone who's very keen to shoot artistic videos. Okay, let's keep watching. Yeah, this shot is just pointless. Ah, nice. I've never heard Alberti bass sound so good. Oh, beautiful. And the phrasing, the melody line phrasing is impeccable. I like these little crushed seconds. That's how you do a controlled slowdown. Now, like, oh, that was a really nice chord. There's no such thing as historical performance practice on marimba, but actually, I think these guys have nailed it. Like, the way they play sounds very Baroque style, which is something that I never thought you could achieve with marimba, because normally when we play Bach on marimba, it always has an inherent contemporary tone to it, in my opinion. But the way these guys are playing with that weight and that intensity, but still sounding very, I don't know, like it should be played in a cathedral or something. It just feels very authentic. I can't quite pin why, but man, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. Okay, let's get watching. Okay, slower, heavy section. Oh, beautiful. Damn. Yes. Putting so much weight in individual simple runs like this. Oh, that cadence sounds so good. Oh, terrace dynamics. Oh, give me some more of that trill, man. Nice. You see what I mean? It sounds very Baroque. Oh, even with stuff like this. Okay, you know what? This technique of hitting the bars on the side, which you see in pieces like Velocities, Rhythmic Caprice. I'm actually really not a fan of this technique, but the way that these guys is doing it, it's very delicate. They're not hitting it hard. 
And so you get that very nice light click, but not that sort of aggressive click that you get in velocities and in especially rhythmic caprices. Like. That piece, man. Seriously. <laughs> Just way too much shaft on bar action, but I really like the way these guys are doing. Just little tiny clicks and they sort of like pop out around you like in the atmosphere. Let's keep watching. Let's go. Look at the way they pass the melody so easily. These runs are insane. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so effortless. So effortless. Let's also just take a second to remind ourselves that this is fully memorized and <laughs> they're not even breaking a sweat. I don't know how much they practice, but I can tell you it's definitely a lot. The dedication they put into preparing these performances is a lot. It doesn't just come out of their hands. Like they work very hard. <sighs> Amazing. Let's keep watching. Man, look at those laterals. And the way they look at each other is so cute too. Hey, beautiful. So even with those brighter mallets, it still sounds really nice. And their bar placement is just perfection, honestly. Here we go. What? Wow, the accuracy is like a hundred percent. Wow. It's unbelievable. I hate this shot. Yes. See, that call and response, the way they look at each other, it really sounds like one person, right? Insane. Insane amount of control. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Beautiful. Here it comes. Big flex is coming. I can feel it. Sounds so good. G major. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh wow. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, you know, sometimes it's just those performances that stick in your head for a long, long time. That's definitely one of them. I've never seen a duo performance so tight. Like, honestly, it's not just the precision that's super impressive, but the musicality as well. The phrasing is just unbelievably good. And like, they really care about all these little details, like all these little inflections, the little dynamic changes going from soft to loud, passing it around like a ball. And to top it all off, yes, it's Handel, Passacaglia. Like, there's just something about transcriptions on marimba when done well and done musically and authentically, it just sounds 
amazing. Anyway, because I'm running out of adjectives to describe this, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this performance. And of course, check out Twin Cushion as well. All their stuff will be in the description below. They're just awesome people. I can't wait to see them again. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it so much. And of course, if you guys have any other videos that you'd like to submit, you can submit them anytime at amazon.com forward slash submit. I'd love to see more videos like this that blow me away. So please submit anything that you have and we will feature it on the show. And finally, if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads as I upload content like this every single week and hit that notification bell to know whenever I upload a brand new episode. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night.